Hey, I'm Rob Witcher from Destination Certification, and I'm here to help you pass the CCSP exam. In this mind map, we'll be reviewing the major topics related to the alignment of the security function to business strategy in domain one. I'll show you how these topics relate to one another to help you understand how it all fits together. Plus, at the end of this video, I'll show you where you can download a PDF version of all these mind maps, including a printable version that you can use to take notes while watching these videos. So watch out for that at the end. Moving to the cloud is ultimately a business decision. The usage of cloud services must be aligned with business goals and objectives. In other words, the usage of cloud services must help the business achieve its goals and objectives. And cloud services obviously need to be secured. But secured to what degree? Should every possible security control be implemented? Probably not. But how do we figure this out? Again, by understanding business goals and objectives, which will dictate what security requirements there are. So we need to spend a few minutes here talking about things like governance, the focus of security, and policies. All right, so starting high level, let's start with corporate governance. Corporate governance is the system of rules, practices, and processes by which an organization is directed and controlled to achieve its goals and objectives that are typically focused on increasing the value of the organization. So fundamentally, corporate governance is about ensuring an organization has clear goals and objectives, and everyone in the company is aligned towards achieving those goals and objectives. Security governance, then, is the system of rules, practices, and processes by which the security function is directed and controlled. A crucial part of security governance is aligning the security function to the overall organizational goals and objectives, so that the security function can help the business achieve its goals and objectives, so that security is an enabler for the business. This is something crucial that we need to always keep in mind as security professionals. Our job is to help the business achieve its goals and objectives, to be an enabler for the business. And this obviously applies to the usage of cloud. Cloud services must help the organization achieve its goals and objectives. So now you know the focus of security, to help the organization achieve its goals and objectives, to be an enabler to the business, to think about where cloud services could be beneficial to the organization to help increase the value of the organization. The overall goals of information security apply, of course, to the cloud. Confidentiality is focused on preventing unauthorized disclosure of information, ensuring that sensitive information is accessed only by authorized individuals and kept away from those who do not have the right to see it. Integrity is focused on preventing unauthorized or unexpected changes to data, ensuring that information is accurate and complete and has not been tampered with or altered by unauthorized individuals. And availability is focused on ensuring information is available to make decisions, ensuring that information and resources are accessible to authorized users when needed. An absolutely critical part of governance is having clearly defined roles and responsibilities. This is especially true in the cloud. The vast majority of the cloud is public cloud, which means a customer is outsourcing the management of the protection of their systems and data to a service provider. So it's absolutely crucial that there are clearly defined roles and responsibilities. That it's crystal clear what the cloud service provider is responsible for and what the consumer is accountable and responsible for. I already covered accountability and responsibility in the last video, but they are so critical to understand that they bear briefly repeating here. Accountability means the ultimate ownership of something. And remember, accountability can never be delegated. So if an organization decides to move something to the cloud, they remain accountable for the security of that asset, no matter what. The cloud service provider will never be accountable for a, customs, for a customer's systems and data. They will always be responsible. Responsibility can be delegated. The responsible party will implement and enforce controls based on the direction of those that are accountable, the cloud consumer. Privacy is not a massive topic on the CCSP exam, but it is large enough to warrant its own mind map. So for now, I'll simply say you cannot achieve privacy without security, and we'll talk about privacy more in domain six. Let's now get into an important discussion of policies. Policies are essentially corporate laws. Policies are how we direct behavior within an organization. Policies tell people what they must 
do. The overarching security policy defines an organization's overall approach to security. The overarching security policy is provided and supported by the board of directors and senior management. The policy defines the goals and objectives for the security function and ensures security is aligned with the overall business goals and objectives. Functional security policies, on the other hand, are more detailed policies that address specific security requirements and practices such as access control, encryption, incident response, and data backups, and how to do these things specifically in certain clouds. An organization will have a functional policy for each of these and many more. Good policies are simple, easy to read and understand documents that state simple rules such as all personal data stored in the cloud must be encrypted. A critical requirement when using cloud services is that an organization must determine what policies will be applicable to cloud services. Policies are corporate laws. Policies tell people and service providers what they must do. Standards define specific mandatory hardware and software mechanisms. For example, an organization standard might state that the advanced encryption algorithm, AES, with a 128-bit key must be used as a minimum for all personal data stored in the cloud to encrypt it. Procedures are step-by-step -step mandatory actions. For example, an organization could have a procedure of how AES is used, how keys are generated, how initialization vectors are created, what plain text preparation is done, etc. Procedures are step-by-step -step set of instructions, actions, of how to do something, like encrypt data with AES. Baselines are minimum levels of security and define mandatory configurations for security mechanisms and pro products. For example, an organization could have a configuration baseline for virtual machines, for VMs. The configuration baseline is essentially a checklist of all the things that need to be done correctly to configure and lock down a VM before it's put into production. So for example, the, the configuration baseline would require that a minimum, at a minimum, the host-based firewall be enabled, certain patches be installed, that a guest OS virtualization tool set is installed and configured correctly, and so on. Guidelines are recommended actions. Listen carefully here. Guidelines are not mandatory. They define what someone should do, not what someone must do. Guidelines are useful when, for when an organization knows they should be doing something, but they don't have it fully implemented yet. So for example, the organization might want to have multi-factor authentication for all administrative accounts. But if there are systems that don't support that yet, the organization is setting itself up for failure if they create a mandatory requirement for MFA for all admin access on all systems. Instead, the organization can create a guideline. It would be a good idea to have MFA for admin access to all systems, but it's not a requirement yet. And the final item here is risk management, an incredibly important topic that most definitely deserves its own dedicated mind map, which is coming up next. So there we go. That's an overview of the alignment of the security function to business goals and to business strategy within domain one, covering the most critical concepts you need to know for the exam. A really cool resource we are providing along with these mind map videos is a completely free downloadable version of all the mind maps in PDF format. We've even included a blank version of each mind map in case you want to print them out and take notes as you're listening along. Link to download the mind maps is in the description below. So check them out. I think you'll find them really helpful in your studies. <laughs>